my name is Iga and you're watching Pixie and the Notes. Today I'm coming back with the EDT versus EDP series and today we are going to talk about Chloe Nomad. If you're interested then keep on watching. Chloe Nomad Eau de Parfum was created in 2018 by Quentin Bish and Eau de Toilette came out a year later in 2019. Both are classified as floral sheepers and they represent a very interesting segment in the um, designer world. And in my own humble opinion, um, Chloe Nomad is one of the best releases of the last decade, I would say, because uh, it's very wearable, but it's very interesting and intriguing at the same time. It's one of the most versatile fragrances in my collection, which never fails me. That's why all the parfum and the little mini has made it to my top 10 for life fragrances and it's not going anywhere. So right off the bat, I'm gonna say out of these two versions, Eau de Toilette and Eau de Parfum, I much prefer Eau de Parfum and I would consider owning Eau de Toilette redundant because the moment you spray them, the moment you spray Eau de Parfum and Eau de Toilette, you can see that this is definitely the core is the same. So um, I owned Eau de Parfum earlier and then I became familiar with Eau de Toilette and when I sprayed it I definitely knew this is uh, Chloe Nomad. So these are not like two different scents. But nonetheless there are certain differences and uh, the major difference is the complexity of the fragrance. Eau de Parfum is definitely more complex, has more depth and interest to it. Uh, while Eau de Toilette is quite simpler and more straightforward. But that shouldn't be kind of surprising when you look at the notes because as you can see somewhere on, on the screen, Eau de Parfum has many, mu much more going on, many, much more ingredients um, involved in the composition. Uh, Eau de Toilette is simpler. So, the main difference for me when I spray them is that Eau de Toilette is more fruity and definitely more flat. It doesn't have that depth that Eau de Parfum has. So the difference in the opening is that in Eau de Toilette you have Litchi and Mirabelle, while in, um, in Eau de Parfum you have Mirabelle, uh, some uh, citrus, bergamot, and um, later you have a little bit of peach. Um, and that's interesting because although Eau de Parfum has more complexity to the fruitiness, um, it is the Eau de Toilette that feels more fruity. And another interesting thing is that Eau de Toilette feels more citrusy in the opening. So both are quite crisp and fresh. Uh, they have certain tartness to them. Uh, there's also this beautiful floral layer. Uh, I think people say that they, they can detect a lot of freesia, uh, especially in Eau de Toilette. I don't see that. For me, it's rather nondescript floral um, component. Uh, which is definitely not heady. This is quite crisp, transparent, floral aspect of the fragrance, which I absolutely adore. So the main difference, as I perceive it, is the complexity and the uniqueness of both compositions. Although they are quite similar, Eau de Parfum feels more deep full-bodied and intriguing, while Eau de Toilette, still being a really beautiful fragrance, lacks that 
complexity and depth a little bit and that's the main uh, downfall of this fragrance for me and probably the biggest difference uh, that I notice at least on my skin is the performance Eau de Parfum has an amazing exceptional performance you need not much than three sprays more can be too overpowering and when i spray it i can feel it feel it on myself for hours it basically lasts all day and it has this beautiful kind of presence that every time you move or uh, you get the wafts every now and then throughout the day you remember you can feel that you are wearing it but sometimes it just lets go and lets you breathe and take a rest and that's the best kind of performance I can imagine. Unfortunately this is not the case when it comes to eau de toilette. Uh, I wore it to work twice and I must say after like an hour or two I completely forgot that I'm wearing this fragrance because it was basically gone. Um, not only does it do doesn't last that long, it also doesn't project. Eau de Parfum, uh, people can smell you. When you spray it, people around you can smell your perfume. I can't really say whether people can smell Eau de Toilette. I don't have too much experience with that, but I definitely don't smell it from myself. So uh, for me, that's a deal breaker. I was considering getting Eau de Toilette, but really that wouldn't make any sense because not only is it like a simpler scent, less interesting in my opinion, uh, but also it lacks the performance. So answering which version is better, I will say without any doubt that Eau de Parfum is uh, the better version of uh, Chloe Nomad um, and if I could just recommend you getting one of these I would always recommend getting Eau de Parfum. Thanks for watching, see you next time.